Intel's next generation of processors is now here, with the Core i9-14900K leading the pack. And while it's still built in the same Raptor Lake architecture as the 13900K, it does support a higher base clock and boost clocks, all for the same 125 watt TDP. And with Intel moving away from the core i designation for processors, this could be the last i9 processor released. Does that mean it's the best one? Taking a quick look at our test system, all Intel chips are using the same configuration, with the 14th, 13th, and 12th generations using the ASUS Z790 Maximus Dark Hero motherboard. That's paired with 32GB of DDR5-6000 memory, an Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 420mm AIO, and Windows 11 Professional with VBS enabled. And for the gaming test, we're using a PNY GeForce RTX 4090. This video is going to be focused on gaming performance more than anything else, so if you are looking for specific application performance, you can find that in the link in the description. Starting off the 4K results, and this is more just a reminder that if you are planning at gaming at 4K, your graphics card is going to matter a lot more than your processor. The seven fastest CPUs are all within 1% of each other, and this is with an RTX 4090. Still, we can see that the outgoing Core i9-13900K is just about as fast as the new Core i9-14900K, and the overclocked Core i9-13900KS is basically tied. Dropping down to 1440p does start to separate the pack a little bit, and now the Ryzen 7 7800X3D is in the lead at 1% faster than the Core i9-14900K, which is about 1% faster than the outgoing Core i9-13900K. This new CPU's little brother, the Core i7-14700K, is a few percent slower, though it is faster than the Ryzen 9 7950X3D. Dropping down to the trusty 1920 by 1080 and the outlook doesn't change all that much. The Ryzen 7 7800X3D is still in the lead, being 4% faster than the stock Core i9-14900K. The Core i9-13900K is a little bit slower, though we do see the Core i7-14700K become a little bit slower than the Ryzen 7 7950X3D. It is worth noting when looking at the minimum frame rates, the Core i9-14900K does a little bit better being about 1% slower than the Ryzen 7 7800X3D when looking at the 1% lows. While not many gamers actually play at 720p, it does give you a better indication of the true potential performance when paired with an even faster GPU in the future. And in that scenario, both of AMD's X3D chips top the charts with the Ryzen 7 7800X3D being 5.7% faster than the stock Core i9-14900K, and the Ryzen 9 7950X3D being basically tied but technically still faster. Even in this future-looking scenario, we don't see a lot of gains from removing the power limits or from a 5.5GHz all-core overclock on the 14900K, and we can see that the Core i9-13900K is still hanging in there being just a bit slower with the 14700K being just behind. It's when we look at application performance though, when the Core i9-14900K really shines. In the stock configuration, it's noticeably faster than the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D and the Ryzen 9 7950X, though we need to remove the power limits if you want to get faster than the Core i9-13900KS. That chip, built on the same architecture, does have 25 extra TDP to play with, so it's kind of to be expected. What's also to be expected then is its power consumption. While AMD's latest chip, the Ryzen 9 7950X3D, uses 140 watts fully loaded, to get that 5% extra performance, the Core i9-14900K uses 282, so literally double. That is still less than the Core i9-13900KS, which isn't too bad considering the performance delta between the two, but if you do want the fastest Core i9 available, that would be removing the power limits, which then lets it gobble up 407 watts. This can lead to some pretty toasty temperatures inside your case, with the stock Core i9-14900K coming in at almost 44 degrees C. That's actually not too bad, all things considered. 
especially since the Ryzen 9 7950X and the Core i7 14700K both run warmer. But if you are looking to get every ounce of performance out of the 14900K, you're going to have to go way above boiling. The good news though is that this is a worst case scenario, so while gaming you're using a much more manageable 145 some odd watts. While that's not too unreasonable for the fastest Intel CPU available, AMD's fastest gaming CPU only uses 49. But in the end, all these trade-offs might be worth it for the fastest application CPU you can get. And when looking at performance per dollar, we can see that the stock Core i9-14900K actually compares pretty favorably to the fastest Ryzen chip available, the 7950X. What it doesn't compare as favorably to though is the Core i9-13900K. Even just being $20 cheaper makes the older chip a slightly better deal, especially considering they're based on the same architecture and have almost the same performance. And with this new flagship chip in the lineup, who knows what the market price for the 13900K will be in a few months. If you are going to prioritize gaming though, the Ryzen 7 7800X3D is a better deal even for applications. So many people may want to just stick with that. But for business users looking for the very fastest CPU you can get, the last Core i9, maybe ever, is a pretty good option.